please invite Dr. Anurag Batra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief, Business World and Exchange for Media Group, to address everyone here, the amazing audience, and of course, to also introduce our esteemed jury. Sir. Good evening. It's my honor and privilege to be here. First of all, kudos to Sanchali uh, for hosting this throughout the day with energy and aplomb. So please give uh, Sanchali a big round of applause. Sanchali every year, for the last few years, hosts our biggest awards night, which is the Exchange for Media News Broadcasting Awards. And we know uh, she does a fab job. And Sanchali, I've known you for many years, but what I'm particularly impressed is the weight loss you've gone through. When I grow up, I definitely want to be like you. But uh, coming to the serious business, first of all, my gratitude to the Honorable Minister, Mr. Rajiv Chandrasekhar, for summing up the challenges and opportunities so well. And Mr. Tanmay Veshwari rightly thanked him, complimented him. And I must say, Mr. Minister is gone, but he's definitely competent to comment. He started in telecom, then he built a media empire, which he sold to News Corp. Then he invested in media startups, has a fund that focuses on, focuses on investing in media. So clearly he is, he is competent to uh, comment on that. It's my honor and privilege to welcome you to the first edition of the Exchange for Media DNP Awards. Thank you, Mr. Tanmay Maheshwari. Thank you, Mr. DJ Narayan. Thank you, Mr. Jata Gupta for, and all the DNP Executive Committee members for partnering with Exchange for Media on that. It's my honor and privilege to wear. Awards are about two stakeholders. One is the people who apply, who do great work in the ecosystem. Second is the jury. So it's my honor and privilege. We should have done that before at the start, but it's never too late to correct yourself. But let me acknowledge jury members of the first inaugural Exchange for Media DNPA Jury Awards. Uh, let me welcome our jury chairs, Mr. Sunil Arora, who's a former chief election commissioner. He was the chair of the inaugural edition of the E4M DNPA. Please give Mr. Arora a big round of applause. Uh, again, he doesn't really need an introduction. He's a civil servant of repute uh, from the Rajasthan cadre. He's been an INB secretary, chairman and MD of Air India, and I could go on. But his last uh, position was the chief election commissioner, which is constitutionally uh, among the senior most posts that any individual in India can. So thank you, Mr. Arora, for chairing this. Uh, because of your chairing this, I'm sure it brings gravitas and seriousness to the process. I know he told Mr. Tanmay Maheshwari on the day of the awards that why Mr. Maheshwari should sit through the whole awards. And uh, Tanmayji commented that, you know, these are independent awards, we'll let you decide. I'm, I came here more for the respect to the jury members. It's my honor also to welcome our senior most jury member, uh, Shri Setu Ratnam Ravi, sir, who is the former chairman of the Bombay Stock Exchange. He's the chairman of the Tourism Finance Corporation of India. Uh, he's served on 48 Indian bank boards. He's advised many entrepreneurs. Uh, he's advised the government. He's been on my alma mater, MDS board, and uh, is a very kind man. So thank you, Ravi, sir, for being on the jury and helping Mr. Sunil Arora and other jury members decide the winners. Let me also welcome uh, Dr. Jagdish Mitra, who's part of the senior most leadership team at Tech Mahindra. They have a very large media and entertainment practice across the globe. So thank you, Dr. Mitra, for being part of the jury. Our gratitude to him. Please give him a big round of applause. Uh, I also want to uh, acknowledge other jury members who are not in the room, but were very involved. Uh, Ms. Aruna Sharma, who's the former secretary, Ministry of IT and Electronics. She was also the Secretary of Steel. She was at the Doordarshan. She was the Director General. Again, she understands media and more than media. Uh, Dr. Nazma is here. Thank you for being on the jury and bringing the perspective of an academician and an education leader. Also, Mr. Sanjay Devedi, who's the Director General of the Indian Institute of Mass Communication. And last but not the least, Mr. Ashish Basin, who was, who was the co-founder and chairman of RDX Network, and earlier he was the chairman of Densu AG's Network. So we had all the stakeholders uh, judging the jury. I also want to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Fletcher, the minister, acknowledge you. He was a minister 
in the Aust last Australian government. He was the communication minister and he did some things in Australia which we hope we are able to do over the next few months, which is the NPA's agenda. And all the DNPA members are very important to exchange for media. I must also acknowledge the presence of senior government officials who are present here to receive awards on behalf of their ministries. Uh, must also, some of you I know, some of you I met for the first time, but Ms. Suman Nalwa is here from the Delhi Police. Um, so if some of you I've just got to know, I'm, I'm not able to take your names, but I just want to say that the inaugural edition um, of the E4M DNPA Digital Impact Awards aims to recognize and honor India's cutting edge digital initiatives that deliver on-demand governance and services to the citizen in various fields. You must have gathered by now that the DNPA's purpose is, you know, Tanmayji in the morning talked about how news is a force for good, how truth is the best thing that one can follow. So the DNP, of course, wants to maximize the revenue of its publishers, but it is focused on improving and rewarding the governance that the governance ecosystem provides the citizen in various fields. These awards are being organized by DNP in association with Asset Exchange for Media. Uh, we are the largest online uh, community for advertising, marketing, media, and we started 22 years back. Incidentally, Mr. Sunil Darwada is also the chairman of our uh, 15th edition of the Exchange for Media News Broadcast Award, which is on 1st April. Ravi sir is also uh, chairing one of the three uh, juries uh, and has been on the jury for a while. I just want to say the awards will be given in following categories, education, health, financial reforms, sustainability and environment, protection, ease of doing business, governance and administrative reforms, women and child care, welfare, and ease of living. I just want to say that the government has done its role of not only being a policy creator, but a market enabler. And I want to leave you with two examples. We criticize the government in media, the policies of the government in media, sometimes their implementation. But I must say, these two are great examples of what the government has done right, and it's done at a global scale. One is the UPI that we interface with. It is the single largest fintech ecosystem in the world. Second is ONDC, which the government has just embarked, and it's an open source e-commerce platform. These are all Section 8 companies which are doing so well and are there for public good. And last but not the least is, I want to give the minister talked about some new areas. In the drone sector, the PMO moved in one day and just changed the drone policy to help Indian manufacturers and not only it make, became a market policy enabler, but it became a market maker by saying we'll buy a billion dollars of drone in the first year, the government and its arms. So really it created an enabling environment and a market. So the DNP awards is a salute to the governments and the public servants. You know, we criticize bureaucrats for everything in this country. Bureaucrats do a lot of things right. Some things they have their constraints. So really these awards are pioneering. Please give the winners a big round of applause and please give all our jury members uh, your congratulations. Their senior editors, Mr. Agni Otri from Amar Ujala is there. Mr. Jaydeep Karnik is there. Ms. Vinita Yadav is there from News Nacha. Many of my friends, I want to welcome the complete media fraternity and the DNPA members and we are honored and privileged to partner DNPA. As with every initiative, these initiatives will grow. They're like children, they'll do us proud. Thank you, God bless you.